Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly Tarot, weekly and Tarot and Lenormand reading for August 13 to August 19, 2018. So first we are going to take a look at the Tarot reading and for that we have a four card spread. The first position here is expressing the topic of your Aquarius for the week then the second card represents the core of the situation the third card is about the challenges that you have to uh, overcome here and the last card is uh, regarding the guidance that you should adopt for the uh, duration of the week or the guidance that you should follow so um, let's see what you got shall we now the first card we have the world so this is going to be an important week. I mean, a major cycle of development here with having the word card as a topic is going to be over, finalized, um, reached a completion. And with a great relief, most likely, you're going to start th searching and most likely, you know, finding a, a new perspective for yourself. Now, the, the world card is very broad you know and uh, it, it kind of literally can relate to everything from a, a, a social circle disagreement argument or undertaking to a, a finalizing you know a, um, an education being pregnant you know it's just a aim that you do have finally is going to be completed in this particular week and you're gonna feel relief that that is basically done you can kind of like you know um, take advantage of the benefits from it and you can move on forward now very important here is when you do find your new perspective or your new goal moving on forward you have to be entirely deliberated from the strings that currently you had with the previous one with the previous uh, undertaking and as well uh, you need to kind of face the world with candor here because otherwise things aren't gonna go very favorable for you so your actions should be whatever actions you do to um, approach this new perspective needs to be supported with uh, a candor and sincerity then the next card represents the core of the situation and that gives us a, a glimpse you know why um, you are seeking for a new perspective now this completion uh, it's not necessarily achieved through hard work especially when we do have the page of cups here as the core of the situation it is achieved because you are going to realize that without uh, making some changes things aren't gonna go very well for you either relationship wise or career wise so the core here of why you are setting a, a completion it is because you will kind of reassess your positions and you are going to kind of see a, a bigger picture in front of yourself regarding career or relationship and slowly but steady bit by bit you're gonna force a, a conscious change in your life which is gonna make you feel much better than you're feeling like now right now because the page of cups is all about having a emotional satisfaction of how the the things are unfolding around you and how the code of conduit in general contributes for your well-being so you're going to uh kind of like adopt a, a new standpoint, a, a new position with positions which serves you much better than they served you before. And through that, it is how you're going to reach the, um, the ending of that cycle of development. And the Page of Cups sometimes refers to psychic ability. So you may expect, you know, that your intuition to be very... Um, amplified not uh, exaggerated was i was about to say but not exaggerated amplified for the duration of the week and through your intuition it is most likely where you are going to understand how you have to rearrange your priorities in order to reach the uh the ending of that cycle of development and after that continue with your life through improvement the challenges that you have to overcome here that will be the devil card and as we said about strings as we said about attachment this is what the card represents here so there will be a certain bounds bonds excuse me <clears throat> which 
are going to keep you tied to certain activities from your past that you will not be able to lightly cut off all right and uh, because it's challenging position it is something that can be overcome but in order to do so you need to kind of show your other half or the mean half should I say so what you need to realize here when you uh, when we have the devil card is that you do have more power than you think than you think you have over the situation and there is no better way uh, or there is no better time excuse me to uh, take advantage of that exert that power in the situation and force those faithful events which are going to allow you to reprioritize uh, to to reassess you know your positions uh, restructure your priorities or kind of you know and uh, actually you know make your closure with something or reach a completion with something now what I'm trying to stress out here that is all in your hands I mean this completion and this closure is not going to be a gift for you guys but I mean by sitting down on your butts it's not going to happen. I mean, you have to put the toils behind it. And we're not talking about physical toils. We are talking about mental toils. We're talking about uh, standing for one's right. We're, we're right, you know, even if it seems hard. We're talking about, you know, making the tough calls, the hard decisions here. So eventually you can end up in the upper, uh, with the upper hand here in the situation. And the guidance uh, that you should uh, follow in order to do so, that will be the Magician. And uh, the Magician card here shows that first and foremost, you have to boost your sovereignty. I mean, you can't allow people to boss you around, especially if they don't pay you for it. Uh, this card also represents that you do have the determination. Only thing that uh, you miss here is the very first step. I mean, the courage to make the very first step in order to make this change for for the better uh, in your life and also the magician asks you to be much more diplomatic when you approach uh, the situation diplomatic but uh, very decisive all right and very cold with your um, with your negotiations I mean here with these cards there is no room for compromises guys it's just it's all about your emotional fulfillment and your emotional satisfaction and if your relationship and your career or your or your career or either of them are not giving you that emotional satisfaction then obviously something has to change and you have and you can do that you know by um as i said reassessing your positions and adopting new ones and um kind of like um, um re uh, assess your priorities and rearranging them this is the way how you make a difference in your life for the duration of the week but the communication and uh, a personal self-respect you know and, and then the sovereignty that, that you do have should be a virtue through it and now let's see um, uh, what the Lenormand has to say we have the stork with the tree with the anchor so well this is very positive because that card says delivery of a, a longevity uh, of, of yeah of longevity of a hope and stability so the way i see these cards is that you are going to regain back the, the stability you once had with some radical measures that you have to adopt for the duration of the week. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for August 13 to August 19, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.